campaign 2014 now in the race for Congress in Massachusetts. One day after U.S. Representative Joe Kennedy announced he was running for a second term in Congress, the freshman legislator sat down with us to lay out his priorities for his district. The Massachusetts 4th District includes Fall River, Attleboro, and Taunton. Target 12 investigator Tim White interviewed Kennedy on a taping of this week's Newsmakers and joins us now with the details. It was a priority in his first term, and Kennedy says if he wins, it'll be a priority in his second term, connecting the south coast of Massachusetts to Boston with a rail line. It's been on the drawing board for years, but getting plans to reality hasn't turned out well. These challenges are hard. You're talking about building a rail line that is going to connect Fall River in, in the south coast to Boston. That's not a, a small feat. The South Coast Rail Project comes with a proposed price tag of $2.2 billion. Here's a look at the communities it would connect. From Fall River in New Bedford up through Taunton to Boston with a commuter rail line. We are putting the pressure on and, and trying to make sure we get there. This is about growth. But it despite big pushes by Massachusetts and, uh, Governor Deval Patrick and, and Congressman Joe Kennedy, the money hasn't materialized and some are questioning the wisdom of making people travel an hour to find good paying jobs. Kennedy doesn't agree. This type of investment, long-term investment, real vision that is going to, uh, I think, provide a huge economic spark to uh, Fall River, New Bedford, and the surrounding communities is an important step forward. Is it going to totally solve the problem? No. But is it a step forward? Yes. Kennedy wouldn't budge when I pressed him on a timetable in terms of getting this project done, but he said he's optimistic they'll break ground in the next few years. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.